Hey guys, it's Ryan back here for the video guys, and today I'm going to go ahead and give my report card for the last two months of month, October and November. Now I did this report card system and you guys seem to love it when I did it in end of August and the end of September. Now I did not do one la for last month, uh, October, and the reason why is because I wanted to wait till the end of this month, knowing that we would have two holiday promos, and we could kind of give EA a better report card for these last two months right so that's why i went ahead and waited and let's go ahead and get right into it now how i do this report card system guys is i'm going to go ahead and separate it into different factors first off we have promos we have gameplay we have of course content which is sort of the promo we have the system of the game like new stuff added to the game for example so about blitz um you know what was it uh duo squads that kind of stuff you know that kind of basic stuff um, and also we have gameplay, and of course gameplay is a very important part of this game. There's no reason, if there was no good gameplay, then there's no point to build a squad, right? So let's go ahead and start off by the way with promos. Now promos for this um, last two months were actually, as I said, awesome, because we had two holiday promos. Every single year, of course, as you guys know, we have a couple holiday promos. We have, of course, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. And of course, we have Easter. Those are the holiday promos. If I'm missing one, I'm sorry. A little tired, so I might be, um, I might miss one promo. Nonetheless, though, we have those major promos. In the last two months, we had those promos released into the game. Now, looking at the uh, Harvest, oh, sorry, the Blitz promo technically is a part of the Thanksgiving promo. It's a little bit after, it's one day after Black Friday. Uh, but the Harvest promo, of course, was a very awesome promo. The only downside of this promo, of course, was going ahead and having the Cornucopia pack, or as they call it, a Potluck pack, which was a complete waste of coins and not worth it at all. So, of course, that was a downside and kind of made the Thanksgiving promo in a little bit not the greatest just because that pack was awful. But the solo challenges were great. You could farm the solos. You could get them done. Easy peasy. Easy coins, okay? So that was not a bad promo. Of course, the Blitz promo was more money-inducive, but again, they had solo challenges that helped out a lot. So those two promos, honestly, I've got to say, were one of my favorite promos, even though, yes, it did go ahead and um, cost money to do some of the Blitz sets if you were going ahead and going for the Deion Sanders. But if you just go and doing solo challenges I did, and I farmed a lot. You guys saw on the channel, I have 15 Legend Fantasy Packs I got from the Blitz promo just from farming. So you could go ahead and make a crap ton of coins from just farming with the Blitz promo. It was actually a really good promo, in my opinion. So we have, of course, the most viewed promo, which was mixed up between Mutt Heroes and Night Guardians. Both of those promos together, honestly, pretty decent promo, not bad at all. You did go ahead and get a free... Um, What's it called? Not, sorry, not my hero. Uh, my, my bad. M monster. You got a free m monster for going ahead and doing solo challenges. You didn't get a free Night Guardian. Uh, you got a fancy pack, but you got a free m monster, which was nice. A 90 overall card. And I definitely love the fact. Same thing with the Harvest promo. You got a free 93 overall card for doing solo challenges. So I definitely love that. And I think that was honestly the best thing ea has been doing a lot more i know they had done this in the past and it kind of feels like at the beginning of this year they got away with this or got away from this and it's just going ahead and giving us a free card from doing solo challenges even if they do go ahead and do what they did with the harvest promo where they cut the training and i think not more than half they actually made the training 800 uh training when it's supposed to be like 3200 training and if they do that it's nice to get a free NAT card from doing solo challenges and kind of every, every promo that comes out, you can upgrade your squad even if you're not spending money on the game. And I love the fact that EA did that and I gotta give them great props for doing that in the Harvest promo and of course the Most Fear promo. They didn't do that in the Blitz promo, but again the Blitz promo was more about just getting the tokens, completing the sets, that sort of thing. And again, Night Guardians, kind of weird addition, second part of the promo. Um, you couldn't go ahead and get a free card, but you did get a fantasy pack. You also win it if you did solos, and also you uh, got a, um, what's it called? You got you were gems you could add to your players to give them plus six speed. We had a 99 speed Lamar Jackson. Yeah, crazy. But the whole entire last two months, I'm going to give promo-wise a A+. Plus. I think the last two months of promos have been fantastic. Now, of course, next month, 
is the Zero Chill. December is Zero Chill promo. Whatever comes out before Zero Chill promo, I don't know if it's going to be like all TTP, which is Road to the Playoffs. I don't know what they're going to do before the Christmas promo comes out. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But that is definitely going to be an awesome month. Because in my opinion, Christmas promo is the best promo in the whole entire year. Just my personal opinion. Nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and now get off of this promo, which again, I give an A+. Let's go ahead and talk about gameplay. Now, gameplay has been addressed in many, many issues with uh, updates. Of course, we had the famous November update that did not update anything. And then they released another update that actually did fix a lot of key issues. <clears throat> Based on talking to people that um, I know that play this game every single day. I do play the game every single day, but I don't play online every single day. Like I know some people do. They have told me that the gameplay for them have gotten better. Not every issue is fixed, but it has gotten a little bit better. And honestly, looking at the patch notes, it does look like EA is fixing a lot of issues. Now, I'm going to give it a B plus because, again, it is a step in the right direction. Now, the major issue when it comes to fixing any kind of gameplay in Madden is that, and it's nothing against, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, I want to say it's a glitch in the AI, right? But anytime they update the game, people will always find exploits. This is how it works. You play Fortnite, you play Madden, you play any video game possible. If someone can find a way to exploit the game, to win it, to do whatever they can to get a dub, they're going to go ahead and do that, right? And that's just the fact of the matter is. A lot of you guys watching me, you would never do that because you don't believe in cheating in any video game. But some people, they do. Um, now, when I'm saying cheating, I'm only saying when people desync people, pause glitch people, that kind of stuff. I don't believe it's cheating if you run a play that gets open or whatever. Is If you can stop a play, it's not cheating, even though... Some of these blitzes that people want are insane and they can just get like one second heat to go ahead and destroy you. It's not cheating if you can technically stop it. That's my opinion. But nonetheless, so I know EA has fixed a lot of those issues. It fixed a lot of the blitzes that came in within one second. Um, my Personally, myself, I still have glitches in the game. Uh, I did a solo battles, I think the other day. And when I ran it, uh, my fullback lined up in front of my quarterback it hit my uh the ball hit my fullback caused a fumble they got the ball back again stuff like that will still happen but i do believe ea is uh, trying their best to fix a lot of issues so i'm gonna give it a b plus yeah let's give it a b plus for gameplay but again it kind of comes down to the fact that no matter what ea fixes sometimes people always find an exploit to kind of go around that fix right so let's go ahead and talk next and that's going to go ahead and be solo challenges now i don't believe i covered solo challenges in my past um one that i created my past um what's called grading system but the reason why i'm going to cover solos is obviously this is a major thing the mad community loves to go ahead and have added to the game obviously because it is ways to make coins right ways to make coins way to grind stuff like that and solo challenges are always great now the solos of course that kind of relates with the promos and of course i did give it a plus to the promos but solo challenges is a little bit more than that because obviously it's not just about the promos it's also about you know what are added to the game and recently i believe it was with um i believe this was in november i believe if i am correct you guys can correct me down below this came out in November, right? The journey? Or, no, no, this came out in October. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's October, November. But the journey coming out definitely was a very, very awesome thing. Now, of course, if you went ahead and completed this whole entire thing, you did receive, I believe it was like a 100,000 coins. And you also receive all these uh, gold player packs and gold premium packs. Now, I personally did not like the rewards. I liked the rewards better the first journey than the second journey. I didn't think this was really that great. I grinded out the whole entire thing. Did not get anything good from it. Again, I like the first journey better than the second journey, which is um, right here across country one. Mainly because of the fact you got a little bit better packs from this. But it was still a pretty decent journey. Now, of course, in the last two months, uh, other than journey, we have not gotten too many other solos outside of promo solos. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an A-. minus. Cause just because we haven't really gotten too many uh, non-promo solo challenge sequences as of the game, right? So that's when we go ahead and give it for that. And again, Journey wasn't the greatest. I would not give Journey an A+. 
let's go ahead and finalize this off guys by talking about modes added to the game when i'm not i'm not, I'm not talking about them adding a brand new mode because obviously they did not do that what i'm talking about is certain things like solo battles blitz duos squads blitz stuff like that right so stuff that was a limited time that added to the game and of course went ahead and made your experience a little bit better right so let's go ahead and talk about first off double xp weekend obviously that was added to the game uh what was it twice do we i want to say in the last two months i know we had it happen at least once or twice yeah once or twice that is honestly amazing right Th definitely whenever you can go ahead usually they do it whenever the level increases uh goes up which we do know that this will happen sometime soon because i believe the data mine said it can go up to 80 I believe it was 80 is the top um, max level. So we can go ahead and probably get a level cap sometimes or increase sometime soon. And of course, with Double XP Weekend, helps out plenty if you want farm accounts or if you're on your main account and you want to level up your account. Um, so Battles Blitz is actually something that I really love and probably my favorite thing they did this year. And that's okay. I do not know why I kept doing that. Anyway, so Soul Battles Blitz. Okay, so it's going to put... Okay, I'm guessing it's doing this because I did not put my Soul Palace for this week. So it's going to keep doing that. But Soul Palace Blitz is a great thing they added this year. And I... Well, obviously I added Soul Palace. But Soul Palace Blitz, it lets you go ahead and, you know, get rewards each and every single day that they do go ahead and have that event out. That is an A plus in my opinion. I love that fact. It's... if You know, Soul Palace, it's not annoying. It's not difficult to complete. But it is 13 full games. And the fact of the P, uh, you know, they released the thing where you can do four games in one day and then get rewards the next day. What it does, in my opinion, is for the people who can't grind out 13 games, right? And let's say they might be off on a Wednesday off of work or school. They can go ahead and grind that out, get it done with, get the coins, and then do whatever they have to do if they can only get on man one day. I love that fact. So I love Soul Battles Blitz. I'm going to give that an A+. Plus. That's probably the best thing I think they added into this game in uh, quite a while, especially the last two months, uh, was the Soul Battles Blitz. Obviously, I do not. I don't know when that actually was first added. I can't remember when that was first added. But Soul Battles Blitz, fantastic. Definitely love it. Nonetheless, though, we'll just not go ahead and go Soul Battles without us getting spammed by that uh, screen. I know it's telling me that because I did not do my Soul Battles yet. Uh, nonetheless, though, that's pretty much it, I think, for the uh, video. I mean, obviously, they added a couple more things with the level increases. I gotta say, level increases have been pretty decent. It hasn't been a too, too long of a time before level increase, in, you know, actually increases. Do love that. Um, overall, though, I gotta say, looking at Madden the last two months, I'm gonna give it a B plus. I think there's a lot of issues that, you know with obviously gameplay is i feel like it's the number one thing that's an issue when it comes to man but um there's a lot of issues that you know ea is i feel like fixing to a certain degree obviously the promo and the content coming out is amazing and i love the content um i do believe though that ea i said this in another video that they're going to have an issue sometime soon though when it comes to content because i showed you guys jack tatum in a separate uh video Actually, let me see. And we're not getting motivated, by the way. Um, I do not believe I have. I don't think I have this uh, picture up. But uh, I showed you guys Jack Tatum in another video. And that another video, you can see Jack Tatum. I, I know someone commented this. And I'll go ahead and just talk about this. Uh, someone commented and said, well, you know, it costs like 6 million coins to get him right now. I'm talking about in June or July when Golden Tickets come out. You know, that Jack Tatum is 99. He's going to be 100,000 coins. And that's going to be so easy to get. So, it's going to get to a certain degree with these chemistry boosts and all, everything. Where it's going to get to a point where these players that get released aren't really going to be going for that much or worth that much. Because of the fact, for example, let's say we're in January when 95 overall is a little bit cheaper. If you can get a 95, you can pretty much get a 99 without too much work. Right? Especially because training has gone down, down more and more in value. I believe for the Blitz promo, it's 25 coins per training point, right? So as that goes down, it's going to be easier when you get training. Cost to get uh, theme teams or, you know, uh, coaches maxed out, stuff like that is going to cost less and less all the time. So 
I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. It's going to be a little bit weirder when it comes to cards releasing later in the year. Because unlike previous years where chemistry weren't as OP or the power-up system, obviously with Legends, wasn't so OP. It's going to be interesting to see how they work that out. Because we are going to be seeing a Michael Vick, for example, Ultimate Legend. Most likely, you can power up the 92 Michael Vick to the 97. And again, if you already have him maxed out at 92, is he really worth the upgrade? But, so overall, I'm going to give Madden again a B. I'm going to give it a B plus for the last two months. I think there's a lot of things EA did correct. A lot of promos that they added that I really like. Again, I can't complain about the last two months. I don't feel like they did anything too, too bad. Uh, so guys, I'm going to be going ahead and giving one more report card for this year. Which of course will be in December. It will be the end of December, January. I'll try to make it January 1st. Uh, kind of like I did with this prom like I did with this video, which is you know the end of uh, November. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and what would you grade Madden the last two months? Obviously, a lot of you guys have played Madden more when it comes to gameplay-wise than I have. So definitely tell me down below and voice your opinions down below. I'd love to hear them. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.